Welcome to today's lesson on the U.S. Emily Step 1. Today we'll be talking about genetics. A dominant negative mutation is a mutation that exerts a dominant effect by producing a non-functional protein that prevents a normal gene protein from functioning. This is involved in heterozygotes. An example here is a mutated protein that prevents the non-mutated protein from binding to DNA. Linkage disequilibrium occurs when genes are said to be linked. This is often caused by genetic drift and low recombination rates. It is a non-random association of alleles at different loci. An example here is that genes for red and brown always occur together, rather than it being red and black. They are not independently assorted. The closer genes are to each other, the more likely they will be linked. Mosaicism occurs when there are genetically distinct cell lines in the same person. There are two types. There's somatic, which arises from mutations from mitotic errors after fertilization and makes its way through multiple tissues and organs. Gonadal, on the other hand, is a mutation that arises in the egg or the sperm only. One way to tell the difference is to see if parents or relatives have the disease. If they do not, then it must be gonadal. When mutations occur at different loci and they produce a similar phenotype, this is referred to as locus heterogeneity. Albinism is an example where mutations are occurring in multiple loci, yet producing a similar phenotype. Allelic heterogeneity occurs when different mutations in the same locus produce the same phenotype. These can occur due to genetic drift or genetic migration, both of which reduce variation. An example is cystic fibrosis. Over 1,500 different mutations in the gene for cystic fibrosis transmitter receptor can cause this disorder. Heteroplasmy. This is the presence of both normal and mutated mitochondrial DNA. This results in a varied expression of a mitochondrial disease. Uniparental dysomy occurs when the offspring receive two copies of a chromosome from a single parent. Usually the offspring receives a single chromosome from each parent. Heterodysomy occurs when the error is in meiosis 1. Isodysomy occurs during meiosis 2 or post duplication of a chromosome and the loss of the other. Nonetheless, the offspring is left with two copies of the same chromosome from a single parent.